Slaying all demons that been outside Better known as myself, I'm a demigod Every thought is creative, sometimes I'm afraid of my open mind Things just ain't the same for gangsters, times has changed <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what's up guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video My name is Russell Corey not sure why I just introduced myself. That feels very YouTube. -y. No, was, they look good. I look good. Yeah. It doesn't feel like too, nah, too much. Nah, looks fire. I fucked with it. All right. So if you rush me in the comments, yeah. that's on do on. All right. So welcome to today's Thursday um, training vlog. We're just gonna focus on the training because we have a special guest in here. Uh, hey Zeus, randomly hit me this morning. Literally like as I'm like waking up and just like kind of like crying in bed and stuff. He hit me, he's like, yo, I'm in Houston, I'm driving by, I wanna work out. And I was like, what, what the hell? So he's here at Corrupt Strength, he's literally in the gym working out right now. Um, so we're gonna throw on the singlet, cause I'm wearing this amazing immaculate fit and I can't lift in this. So I have to change to the singlet, start lifting with Jesus. Uh, we're just gonna touch base with him. I mean, for those of you guys that do not know who Jesus Olivares is, he is literally the strongest person like ever. I'm not even like, I'm not even like being like complimentary. Like he's literally like, the best point blank period so hey zeus uh, about like three four weeks ago put up the best total in powerlifting history tested untested as a tested athlete um squatted like i know i, I said like in my last video ten thousand pounds but it might as well have been ten thousand pounds he squatted a thousand pounds benched 603 and then deadlifted nine nine something nine it was a lot of weight man he basically did the greatest thing that you could ever do and that is put up the biggest total in powerlifting history so we're gonna work out with him to kind of get his thoughts about like how the competition went, how Sheffield went, and uh, just lift. I mean, it's not very often where you get to like train with literally like the best powerlifter in the game at the moment. So um, I know I've been saying that for a long time. He's a teammate, and I've always thought that he's the best powerlifter in point blank period in the game. So let's go ahead and change. He just jumps in mid workouts. Hey, can I work in with you guys? Or like, can I pull this? Or clean this? I don't know. So hey, can I clean oh, this? And he, has he just like a disguise and like all that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it right. You know, one of my videos I said, oh, hey, so you squatted 10,000 pounds. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's, he squatted 10,003 pounds. Da, da, da. Everyone's like, what the fuck? It's a dynamic world. I was talking to y'all and then y'all just started lifting. I wasn't sure if y'all stressed or anything prior. Cause y'all drove like what, two and a half, about three hours? From San Antonio to here is like three and a half, three and a half. Yeah, and Jesus can just jump in and start working out after a three hour drive. I'm almost 30, I'm 28 now, so I gotta, I gotta do my little warm up here and there. I will say though, for deadlift though, I don't have to warm up as much just because like, the movement is more so about leverage, not more so about like, you know, um, pulling a long distance, that makes sense. Hi, you know, as long as you keep it like that, you'll be alright. It's gonna collect over time. I've been willing to bet, bro, that I, I probably have like the cleanest super heavyweight diet, bro. <laughs> Bro. Ain't nobody ever told 
on that shit. You got motherfuckers saying they're gonna take that shit from you, bro? They wanna take that shit from you? They said men is the murder capital. I'ma I'm add a couple bodies in September. Oh man. Nah man. Still, hesitation on get you killed. I wanna pop my shit, I wanna cut my whip and cash. All that girl come on them folks and all black ghosts like Christmas past. Vicious ass. I couldn't do the right to stand up on the mic. You need this shit. You got one fucking shot, one goal. This is how you fucking do it. This right on time. Transformation, I must have a thousand lives. I'm like three thousand wives. You should die. Better known as myself. I'm a demigod. Every thought is creative. Sometimes I'm afraid of my open mind. Get up! Get up! I was like, it was like just tingling at my kneecap. 805 is like, it's just annoying because I know like the power for 805 is there, just like just throws it out. Joe, Joe, based off seeing the 765, the selective move, he would have either been like go to back downs or probably been like 780 tops. No, I knew, I was like, yeah. yeah, I was like, fuck it, because 765, the way it moved on there, that's a, that's a dub for me. I'm like, that's a win. So anything extra, I was like, fuck it, let's try it out. Yeah. I had a I don't, I don't train with pound players, so. That 765, I thought it was like a 675, and I was like, oh, RP is six today. And I turned, and I was like. <laughs> he started like, counting. I was like, oh, God damn, what the fuck? What's yeah. going on today? You know what? On this one, I'm not, I don't feel as bad, because like, the 765 was a win. I have never moved a place like that before in my life. So I was like, I mean, if, if there was a day to attempt it, it was today. You know, so I was like, let me just load up. Cause to me, the way I break it down in my head, it's like it's just an extra two tens on each side. And like I'll pick it up. No, for real. For real I'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah. I'll pick it up. I'm like, bro, you can lift this. Like I'm feeling it in my hands. Oh like, yeah. Um, just gassed out on it. But like just judging by how the 765 moved, like I'm confident in saying that 800 pounds is there. It's just a matter of like when am I gonna hit it? Like what day am I gonna hit it? You know, it could be at the end of next block. But I'm very confident. Like, and plus today you said you came in, you wasn't even feeling like you're something. No, yeah, I feel. I mean, it's an excuse, but yeah, it's all good. The day is gonna come. I was feeling like my body was like, and just you get this, like whenever you're about to hit a big lift, do you feel like you can't feel your your body? Yeah, like just get all tingly, yeah, almost yeah. like numb. Yeah, I was numb. I couldn't feel shit, which is great though. What I, what I found in that, bro, is sometimes you have to like mentally finish the rep because yeah. when I get like so amped up that I'm so numb. When you hit that sticky point, it's almost like mental. But if you can just like visualize hitting the ramp, it's like your body goes into autopilot and yeah. you just kind of smooth it out. Yeah, yeah. But it, it is weird, man. Yeah. If you're not familiar with it and you don't know how to like navigate through that sensation, most people they'll just fucking they'll like mess up the setup, yeah. they'll switch up things, they'll do shit they've never done before. But it's like obviously we got a well seasoned veteran. <laughs> No, no. So, well, I was like, I was like chalking up, and I was walking over to find my phone. I was like, I cannot feel my feet or my hands right now. Yeah, yeah. But it was, but that's like a good thing for me, cause like I'm like, okay, like this is the stimulus I'm gonna be. That's why I was looking for Duhon fast. I was like, bro, where's Duhon? Cause like I can't feel my shit. And I was like dizzy, cause I couldn't like, like the the adrenaline was so high. Um, but I came down once I came like. When I go like this, it's really to like regain some feeling. I'm like, I'm trying to fill this shit out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but it was, it was good. I think it was a good. Uh, I almost want to say a good fail. And like one thing, one thing to add to this is like we have specific procedures and reasonings for why we do certain things that that will warrant why we'll take certain jumps, low things of that nature. I don't want to give away our secret sauce, but from a from my standpoint, knowing what he's had to do this week and things of that nature, and especially being at this level, when things like this happen, it's very easy to put a fail behind you because you know you know what you have and gauging based off how he hit the 765, we know where we're at. So we're very confident. Like, we're not afraid to fail. We can take losses and literally forget it immediately and we know the reason why. A lot of reasons why people in training, they'll fail, they don't know why. That's where the frustration comes through. But we've been doing this shit for so long now, it's just, it's routine. So now, I'm gonna go blow this bitch up and he's straight, you know what I'm saying? He's world class. Y'all see what's up when it's time to perform. Five for three now. 
I'm gonna do 760. I'll see. I'll probably do like 705 for three. Um, I'm gonna go look at my PR and see what's good. All right, so today's workout is already over. I'm gonna transition over to doing bodybuilding. I feel like a lot of people, for whatever reason, they want to see me fail, and like it's like highly requested and always asked, like, do I ever fail reps? Um, yeah, I do. So, I mean, today's session was amazing for like the wrong reasons. Um, it was kind of hard because Jesus just came in randomly and I'm like, oh fuck, like energy's high. Uh, we're shit talking, so it felt good. Um, so just breaking down the workout. 765 flew, fast we ever flew, or faster it's ever flown. I'm gonna post that on IG like I ain't missed the 805, so just like don't say nothing. But um, yeah, it was a good workout. Obviously missed 805, fried my back. Then after that, I was like, fuck it, let's do 725 for three. Roast my back again. So it's it's very rare. I can count on my hands how many times I'll miss in training over the course of a year. And this was definitely one of those times. I missed the whole training session. So um, off camera, I'm gonna probably do like 405 for three sets of three for my final set because my back is super roasted. And then I'm gonna jump in and do a shit ton of back accessories and that'll be it for today. But um, obviously, Jesus was here and I told him before he left, I'm super proud of the success that he's had. Um, I've been saying for a decent amount of time, almost like you know, LeBron James me, and it's like, yeah, like I knew, like I knew that Tristan Thompson was gonna be a good player the second that he got out of college type shit. But I have been saying that Jesus is um, the best powerlifter, like in the game right now. Um, I come from football, and in football, in the weight room, the big boys are the strongest, and they're regarded as the strongest. Um, I know people have these conversations about like the smaller lifters, like all these other different lifters that don't lift as much as Jesus does, and like they judge it off of dots and shit and say they're the best lifters. No. <laughs> For me, it's always been Jesus, and I've always been trying to like kind of uplift him and try to refer back to like the big boys being the top dogs of powerlifting, and um, I'm very, very happy and proud to see him get his just due, and also him being a teammate. It's like motivated me watching him, and there's very few lifters where, that, where they come in, and I'm almost like, I give him that respect off rip. And he's like, I can count on my hands how many lifters I can respect for real. And he's definitely one of those lifters. He comes in, I'm just like, fuck, like, I gotta turn it on today because like, he's just in the building. So shout out to Jesus, shout out to Pap. Those people are like good ass people. Um, I'm gonna link all of their social medias in the description box so you guys can please follow them. Um, if you want a refreshing taste or, or like a, a, a fresh breath of air, breath, breath, of, breath of fresh air. You're right, you're right. Fresh breath of air? No, breath of fresh air. Fresh breath of air. You sure? I don't know. I'm not from here. Yeah. <laughs> um, a breath of fresh air. It's definitely that. If you guys want a breath of fresh air, definitely follow those two individuals. Um, keep up with their channel. Um, keep up with their social medias. They put out really uplifting and positive content. Um, I think Jesus is a better person than me. I'm pretty. I'm pretty petty and sensitive. <laughs> Jesus is always looking for like the silver lining of the cloud. Sometimes I just. I'm a dark cloud sometimes. People be getting on my ass and I'm just like, I'm not gonna take that shit from your ass. But anyways, uh, shout out to them. Good session. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning into this raw training vlog. Let me know guys know if you guys like this type of shit. Uh, I'm gonna jump more on the uh, other content videos pretty soon. So like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.